Hey guys, it's Alex. So in case you haven't heard, we are now in a season of Lent, which is a period of time where we get ready for Jesus' resurrection at Easter. But wait a minute. Right now, it's February, and Easter happens in April. So we have to finish February, and then go all the way through March, and then get to April, which is Easter. But that feels so far away. Why can't we just have Easter now? I really like Easter, and I just want it to be Easter now. Ah, why can't we have Easter now? <laughs> if you feel this way too, I understand. Lent sometimes seems like it goes on forever, but it's a really important season and you don't want to skip it. So exactly how long is Lent? Well, Lent is 40 days long, not including Sundays. Why 40 days, not including Sundays? You see, 40 is an important number in the Bible. For 40 days, Noah and his family were on the ark as rain fell from the sky and flooded the earth. For 40 years, God's people wandered around in the wilderness on their way to the promised land. For 40 days, Moses was at the top of Mount Sinai where God gave him the Ten Commandments. And for 40 days, Jesus was in the desert where he fasted and prayed to get ready for his ministry here on earth. So in these 40 days, we're kind of in a period of waiting. But not just waiting, also getting ready. That's the most important part about Lent, is getting ready. So why don't we count Sundays in the 40 days of Lent? Well, Sundays are little mini Easter's where we get to celebrate Jesus' resurrection before Easter comes. Every Sunday is a celebration of Jesus' resurrection. And then when Easter does come, it's a huge celebration of Jesus' resurrection. During Lent, we prepare our hearts for Jesus' suffering and death during Holy Week. To prepare means to get ready for something. You know, in life, we have to prepare for a lot of things, and we don't think twice about it. See, if you're going on a road trip, then you prepare by filling up your tank with gas. Otherwise, you'll run out of gas in the middle of the trip, and your car won't be able to move anymore. If you have a test coming up, you prepare for that test by studying. You look at your notes, you study your textbook, so you can be ready for the test. If you don't prepare, if you don't study, then you won't know the answers when the test comes. You also prepare for snowstorms. If you know that a lot of snow is coming, you make sure that you have a good winter coat so you can be safe from the cold. Otherwise, you'll be standing out in the freezing cold without a coat. Now do you see how important it is to prepare for things? <laughs> it's the same way with Lent. We want to take the time to prepare our hearts. And preparing our hearts takes time. I'm going to read to you from the Bible, from the book of Joel. It says, Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Joel 2, 12 through 13. See, during Lent, God wants us to return to him, to repent of our sins, which means turning away from our sin and turning back to God. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm facing the wrong way? Oh, like this way? Over here? Oh, okay. Is that better? Oh, not this way? Oh, I gotta, I gotta turn this way. Okay. Is that, is that good? Are we good? All right. <laughs> That's what we do during Lent. We make sure that we're facing the right direction. We don't want to be turned toward our sin, but instead we want to be turned toward God. We want to take the time to look deep into our hearts and make sure that our hearts are turned toward him. During Lent, we take a close look at our lives and we see the ways that we've messed up. 
During Lent, we see all of our sins and all our mistakes and how much we don't do what's right. And seeing that, we repent of our sins. But here's the good news. We have a God who is gracious and merciful. That means when we come to God and confess our sins, he forgives us through Jesus Christ, his son. We know that God loves us so, so much, and he doesn't want us to stay in our sin. He wants us to turn away from our sin, to turn towards him. Our God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. This is the God that we repent to during this Lenten season. This Lent, as we turn away from our sin, we know that we turn toward a God who is loving, whose arms are open, ready to take us in. God loves us so, so much, and he wants us to return to him. So this Lent, I invite you to look at your own life, to see your own sin, no matter how ugly it is, and to know that God still loves you, and he wants you back. Take some time to ask God for help in leaving your sin behind, so that you can follow him. And we'll start right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Lord, we thank you that you love us and you forgive us when we turn to you. Lord, we ask that you help us to repent, help us to turn away from our sin and turn to your open arms. We love you, Lord. Thank you for loving us, too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. See you later.